clean and simple, Max Thunder and Lightning. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Shuffle Squad YouTube channel. My name is Josh and I am here today to bring you a brand new deck profile to the channel. We are going to be covering Regielecki VMAX, Vikavolt V, one of the most anticipated decks when the Silver Tempest set came out. There were a couple issues early on, but let me tell you, this deck is everything that was hyped about it and more. It's an absolute blast. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So taking a look at the list here, we do have three copies of the title card of the deck, Vigabolt V, 210 HP lightning type Pokemon with a paralyzing bolt attack. It does 50 damage. For a long time, people have been trying to make this card work, but that 50 damage has just not been enough. They tried to increase it with the Zapdos from Pokemon Go, only really going up to like 60, 70, 80 damage with those Zapdos, 110 with a choice belt. But now, thanks to Regielecki VMAX, we are hitting numbers. Paralyzing Bolt, 50 damage for two energy, one lightning, one colorless. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item cards from their hand. And then that Super Zap Cannon, 190 damage, two lightning and a colorless, discard two energy from this Pokemon. That attack also gets a huge buff in Regielecki VMAX, making it so that there are two Regielecki VMAX in play and you have a choice belt attached. You're just one-shotting V-Stars, which is absolutely insane. You have all three VMAX in play. You can even hit 310, one-shotting some new VMAX as well. Talking about Regielecki, here it is. Free Retreat finally on a Regielecki card, 310 HP. That transistor ability is the star of the show. Your basic lightning Pokemon's attacks do 30 damage extra to your opponent's active Pokemon. Max Thunder and Lightning, also a decent attack, does 220 damage for lightning and two colorless. So you can attach a lightning early in the game and then Melanie, get another water, Melanie twice, get that set up because you only need the one lightning energy. Regielec EV actually also worth talking about. That lightning wall attack makes it so you take 100 less damage from your opponent's attacks. So you can trade against Mill Tank if your opponent puts more cards into play playing that Mill Tank. You can just lightning wall against the Mill Tank. Uh, you never have to take a knockout. Uh, you can just prevent it from doing as much damage to you as you are to it. So we are playing one Raikou V, 200 HP, just like that Suicune V that was so popular a few formats ago. Uh, Lightning Rondo, 20 plus, this attack does 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. And then Fleet Footed, draw an extra card if you're in active spot. Uh, we're playing one Crobat V, one Luminion V, and then Raiding Greninja, huge in this deck. Raiding Greninja makes it so much easier to get that turn one going second item lock up you can discard those water energies early for the Melanie. We are playing two copies of Energy Search. Search out those water energies. If you need lightning, you can search out the lightning as well. But typically, you're going to use this early to search out water, try and set up those Melanies. One copy of Hisui and Heavy Ball. Mostly looking to get the Regieleckis out of the prizes, the Raiding Greninjas if you need to as well. Very good. Very good in this deck. Four Quick Ball. Switch card. We're playing three Switch Cart. Uh, so that we can heal a little bit of damage off of our basic Pokemon. Uh, our only evolution Pokemon in the deck has free retreat, so the only things we're really going to be using a switch on are going to be those basic Pokemon. So you may as well get some healing as well. Get the trekking shoes, three trekking shoes. Look at the top card of your deck. You may put that card into your hand. If you don't, discard that card. Basically can get rid of those water energies, anything that's worthless in a certain matchup. Four Ultra Ball to Stormy Mountain can search out the Regielecki, can search out the Raikou, can search out the Vikavolt, whatever you want. And then one Temple of Sinnoh, super good into the Reggie matchup, the Lugia matchup, plenty of things. There are a lot of special energy going around in the format right now. Even into that Mew VMAX deck, you can turn off the Fusion Strike energy. It's not doing too much for you considering what you're playing in the deck, but uh, at the very least, make it so that those energy are colorless making it harder for your opponents to deal with your high HP Pokemon. Uh, we have two boss orders, two Marnie, four Melanie, and then three Serena, or two Serena. Discard up to three cards from your hand. If you do, draw cards until you have five cards, obviously. Everybody knows what Serena is at this point. And then we're playing three Choice Belt, two Forest Seal Stone, uh, and then the energy cards are going to be four speed lightning energy, three regular lightning, and five basic water energy. 
So yeah, let's just jump right into some games so I can show you guys the power of Vikavolt Reggie Alecki. I think you guys are gonna be really impressed. Perfect, so we are going to get started here. We do get to go second, not too big of a deal going second here. Uh, our hand's not great for going second. We would love to have some energy access in our hand. So let's see, our opponent does mulligan. We are gonna get an extra card, which is just great for us, because uh, we would love to see some extra stuff here. Uh, we do get a Stormy Mountain, that's great. Stormy Mountain is great. We can get a Reggie Alecki V down. Uh, we have tons and tons of stuff to do with our hand. We can Crobat, we can get a Radiant Greninja out. Plenty of things uh, that we're capable of doing here. Our opponent is gonna use that Flower Selecting after using the VIP pass, gonna get rid of their Galarian Zigzagoon. They do scoop up net. They go ahead and use the Flower Selecting on their Comfey. Gonna go ahead and Concealed cards here, discarding a Grass Energy, drawing and benching a Cramorant, discarding the Grass Energy off the Retreat to be able to Flower Select it again here. Uh, really solid for them. We do get a choice belt. I'm just gonna go ahead and slam that immediately. Use the Stormy Mountains. Let's see what we got in there. 3-3 three, three, Reggie Alecki all set there. We are missing a water energy, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Probably gonna go ahead and grab that Reggie Alecki V. Gonna go ahead and discard the Serena with the quick ball. We are missing the Radiant Greninja. Uh, that is a little bit of a problem for us, but maybe it'll be just fine. I'm a little bit apprehensive to use this quick ball here as we don't have an easy way to discard water energy from our hand. Uh, but I don't think we have too much better of a choice. Uh, we may as well, I guess, just quick ball the switch card. Save the Serena just in case we miss here. Uh, gonna go ahead, establish another Vika Volt, play the Crobat V. Draw some cards. We do get some energy here. Just need to find a water energy. And we do miss the water energy here. Quite unfortunate. Uh, I can just boss's orders that Giratina. Try and stick it in the active spot. Really unfortunate that we prize that Greninja here. But hopefully we'll be able to establish an item lock soon. Maybe this will stop our opponent from being able to do too much here. Uh, but we'll see. They do play plenty of switch cards. Um, the thing we're hoping for the most here is that they're unable to Mirage Gate this turn. Uh, if they are able to Mirage Gate, it could cause us a lot of problems. There's the boss's orders. I'm gonna pull up Crobat and just use the Abyss Seeking. We do play some switch cards, so I can dig a little bit. Uh, they are going to Lost Zone some stuff here. Okay, we do find the energy search on the next card. Uh, we don't love to see that, but go ahead and Ultra Ball here, discard a Lightning and a Water. And grab that Reggie Lucky V Max, the first one, hopefully of many here. Uh, and we can attach. So we can attach the Lightning here, and we can just go for Serena. And I think that is likely what we're gonna do here. Is just discard both of these. We don't particularly need either of them. Just hoping for a switch. We do get that forest seal stone. So we are going to be able to establish a lock here. I am gonna grab that Melanie, have access to it next turn is pretty solid. Get the switch cart, use the switch cart to start swinging with our Vikavolt V. We are gonna put down the extra Reggie Lucky V. Paralyzing Bolt, swing for 110 damage on turn two and locking our opponent out of item cards completely. That is great for us. Uh, our opponent does get another Giratina down. Um, they are gonna start accelerating energy to that. By accelerating energy, I mean just attaching energy. Um, <laughs> can be pretty easy to, to confuse sometimes. Uh, they are gonna Abyss Seeking again. So they are probably going to be looking to use that uh, V-Star attack uh, in order to just take the KO onto our Vika Volt without having the three energies down. That's okay though, 
if we can paralyzing bolt our opponent we can stall them out hopefully just enough uh, we do get another ultra ball do i want to save a quick ball in my hand i don't think so just go ahead and ultra ball the two quick balls we will establish another regielecki v max and i can paralyzing bolt here for the ko take two prizes uh, our opponent is going to be able to send up a comfy here start looking for some more stuff cramorant works too um, they can sit behind the cramorant for a little bit uh, see what they can find for themselves we did marty them into a cole reses experiment uh, it's not a huge deal for us they're gonna get that second cram down so they are gonna be able to two shot our vika volt here uh, I, i'm just gonna go ahead and melanie get a water energy on to our benched vika volt we can go ahead and attach a speed lightning here if we want to um, i'm somewhat tempted to attach it to the reggie lucky vmax but i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the benched vika volt uh, i'm going to trekking shoe can put that right in the discard pile i'm gonna go ahead and attach the force seal stone to another reggie lucky and then paralyzing bolt here for the knockout uh, they are going to be able to take a revenge knockout here should they decide to but then next turn if they don't establish a giratina v star here i can ultra ball for the luminion get that boss's orders and just take the knockout on our opponent's giratina v uh, but let's see so i'm doing 50 i'm doing 80 110 140 170 so i would need to use the super zap cannon uh, but i don't think that's too much of a problem let's go ahead you're gonna ultra ball the heavy ball and the temple of Sinnoh. i want to make sure that i have a boss in my deck i do we do have that boss in the deck uh it's impossible for our opponent to take a knockout on us i believe even if we do go for this boss's orders play. I think it may be a safer play, though, to just take the knockout and Marnie. Hmm. I think that is the safer play. I think that's what we're going to go for. We will attach the water energy to our bench Vika Volts. And I can just go for the Marnie. They are going to have to find a grass energy. They have three gone already. So it's going to be quite difficult for them to find that grass energy. The Marnie don't have such a big hand left could make things a little bit complicated but we have enough cards to win the game so long as we play smart don't get too unlucky here uh, if our opponent has the giratina v star and the grass energy in hand could cause some problems for us um, but we'll see they do have the giratina v star do they have the grass energy their last grass energy, is it in their hand? It's not. Okay. So we can still just paralyzing bolt here. We can't take the knockout, uh, but that's okay. We're not too distressed. Um, we can just go paralyzing bolt here. We'll do 80, 100, 10, 140. Uh, it looks like we are in a bit of a pickle after that, though. We don't have a way to bump their Temple of Sinnoh. We will just Paralyzing Bolt. We'll do 140 damage. And if they don't find a way to get that Grass Energy this turn, we do have game in hand. And they don't find it. We are going to be able to just Paralyzing Bolt. We did have the Stormy Mountains in hand anyway. Would have been able to attach the Speed Lightning and win the game on the next turn. Just playing those cards to show our opponent that we had it because uh, it seems like uh, they were a bit sad about losing that one, but we are able to take Giratina down, one of the strongest decks in the last format, and we were able to completely dismantle it by removing their access to Mirage Gate, uh, doing a ton of damage with that Paralyzing Bolt attack. Despite its 50 damage threshold, all those Regieleki VMAXs make it a two-shot on a Giratina V-Star. So we will go ahead and hop into another game right after this one. So starting off here, we are going to win the coin flip, meaning we're going to get to go first. Obviously, Vika is one of those decks in the format that is fully okay with going second. It can get the turn one item lock going second. You don't mind going first, though, by any means. 
Uh, we do have that Temple of Sinnoh in hand. I'd love to have a water energy here. Unfortunately, we don't. It looks like our prizes are okay. We're gonna go ahead and get that Regilecki established. Fortunately, we don't have too much to work with here. Could just go ahead and Ultra Ball here if I really wanted to. Could use that Crobat and actually, I think we may just go ahead and do that. Gonna get the Ultra Ball off. Maybe grab that Radiant Greninja here. And then I can Crobat, giving myself four cards. Maybe setting ourselves up for next turn. I'm uh, gonna get that Water Energy. Gonna be able to use the Concealed Cards ability and draw a couple of things. Do get a Vikavolt, don't really wanna bench it here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the Lightning Energy though. And we'll just pass it off to our opponent. Now, Reggie's can have an absolutely explosive start. Our opponent did have to Quick Ball away a Choice Belt meaning that they probably don't have a crazy start. They don't have too much energy in their hand, if any at all. Uh, yeah, they have an Aurora. They are going to get down quite a few Regis early, but them Ultra Balling that Marnie away seems to imply that they have other things to work with in their hand, probably a research. Yep, yeah, there is that last card research here. We are just hoping that our opponent is not able to get a full set up and here uh, if they're able to get all their reggies down and a couple more energy into that discard pile they are going to be in quite a lot of trouble uh, they do miss the reggie gigas that gives us at least an extra turn to work with so uh, let's get that reggie gigas down we can go ahead uh, the choice belts are useless so we will just go ahead and get rid of those do need all three Regieleki to attack and take KOs. So I am just gonna go ahead and set those there. I'm gonna get one down. Uh, I can concealed cards here, or I could just attach this Speed Lightning to one of my bench Pokemon. I do get another Regieleki VMAX, that's quite good. I'm gonna go ahead and concealed cards, another Lightning Energy. We are getting rid of quite of a few energy. We wanna at least have some left, but for now, just gonna Paralyzing Bolt. Trying to establish our board. Uh, we don't need a Vika Volt on the field. Uh, we can set it up in one turn with a combination of Melanie and an attachment. We do just play that path to the peak. We do get a Forest Seal Stone. Um, that is one path to the peak down. Don't necessarily need to do anything else. I could establish my third Reggie Aleki V right here, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we are just going to Paralyzing Bolt, take the knockout on our opponents. Reggie Drago, we do find a Raikou V. Not exactly the most helpful thing we could have found. Reason we're saving that Forest Seal Stone is just in case uh, we need to find that Melanie. Our opponent does go for the Static Shock, so we are just going to go ahead and bump the path. We are going to play the Forest Seal Stone. We will use Star Alchemy to get that third Reggie Alecki VMAX. Gonna go ahead and use a Concealed Cards here. This Choice Belt is pretty much worthless, so I am just gonna go ahead and attach the Choice Belt. <laughs> Looks like our opponent is a little upset, uh, but we are able to just Paralyzing Bolt, take the KO on our opponent's Reggie Alecki, and if our opponent doesn't have access to Professor's Research, they don't have access to Marnie, and on top of that, they will need to have access to Bumping the Temple of Sinnoh. They do find the, uh, the bump there. Uh, unfortunately, this means that we don't have the KO here, but our opponent's not doing much of anything, so we can just Paralyzing Bolt. We'll do 50 damage, see what our opponent can follow up with. We are a little bit afraid of this Regirock. It does take a one-shot on the Vika Volt, but it looks like our opponent doesn't have much to work with here, so I'm just going to go ahead and Paralyzing Bolt as well. Uh, I could attach a Water Energy to the Regilecki VMAX, further set it up as a possible attacker later in the game. Obviously, for now, though, we definitely want to continue to be using that Paralyzing Bolt attack. Uh, I think we are just going to save the Water. I think we want to just Paralyzing Bolt again. Uh, we could be put in a bit of an unfortunate situation where our opponent Marnies us and then takes the KO. If that happens, 
uh, we may have to establish a more sorry okay so our opponent is getting set up here they just need the reggie alecki they do miss so that's great for us i think i am don't really want to use the melanie here i think we'll use the speed lightning just really looking for a stadium here no don't need the quick ball we don't get the stadium that's okay uh let's see what are our options here we can switch cart it's not really worth it to use the melanie we are gonna need we are gonna need those melanies to set up vehicles later in the game so that's just paralyzing bolt we will again item lock our opponent but there's that professor's research getting them a fresh seven card hand they are just gonna retreat and send up that Reggie Gigas. That's all right. We are just going to go ahead and paralyze and bolt again. We really have no reason not to just continue to put 50 damage all across our opponent's board. Uh, they can't use those scoop up nets. They can't use those ordinary rods. Uh, it's really putting them in a difficult situation. But of course, because they play the path to the peak, we are also in a position where we are unable to take these one shots on the Reggies. So if our opponent had gotten a stronger setup, before I used that paralyzing bolt, we would almost certainly be in a very difficult position here. Uh, they are going to be able to attack our Vika Bolt with that Reggie Gigas this turn, uh, doing quite a lot of damage. Uh, they probably have access to another Reggie Gigas in their hand. I could Marnie here. I don't particularly want to. Um, I could switch cart, try and take some of the damage off the board, but. Again, I think what we'll do, we'll attach that Forest Seal Stone. We will Quick Ball the Raikou, getting rid of that. Uh, we do have the Luminion, uh, although unfortunately we won't be able to use the Luminion. We do have quite a few supporters in our deck. Uh, so even if we do get Marnie here, that's okay. We'll just use the Paralyzing Bolt. Uh, take the Knockout here, going down to two prizes. Now our opponent may be able to take the Knockout here on our Vika Bolt. But all we need to do is take two more prizes. So say we could Melanie to our Regieleki VMAX. We could establish a Lightning Energy on a second Regieleki VMAX. And the next turn we could Melanie to that second Regieleki VMAX, attach an Energy. And that's our two attacks to take the remaining two prizes. Um, but we'll see. They do have the Regigigas. They are going to be able to use that Regice. They do have the Marnie. So we are looking for... That Melanie that we know is in our cards here. We would love a Stadium Bump. We do get the Marnie. This is fine. Uh, we can Trekking Shoes. Uh, we know that there is at least some likelihood that we will be able to find what we're looking for. Uh, our opponent doesn't have enough Aurora Energy. That's so unfortunate for them. We are going to take this. I'm going to go ahead and attach the Speed Lightning to our Reggie Alecki VMAX. Um, and then we can just bump the path to the peak. You will be able to take this KO here with the Paralyzing Bolt doing 140 damage thanks to all of our Reggie Alecki VMAXs. And then our opponent just needs to attack with that Reggie Gigas. They will be able to take the knockout, but so long as we have access to an energy, we can finish off the game by using our Reggie Alecki VMAX. And we should know that we have access to energy thanks to that Marnie in our hand. Uh, we do have at least some energy in the deck. Uh, it may be a more correct play to go for the Serena if I can clear my hand out. Or we could just draw the water energy, clean and simple, max thunder and lightning, take that last KO and giving us our second win with the Reggie Alecki. Vika Bolt deck. So as you can see, Regieleki Vika Bolt is absolutely finding its place amongst the top decks in the format. That Giratina deck was unable to do anything because of that item locking. And even the Reggie deck, once you get all of those Regieleki VMAX set up, you're putting a ton of pressure down, making it so difficult for them to maintain their board state. I want to thank all of you for watching the video today, and I will see you on the next one. The Shuffle Squad is proudly sponsored by Atlas Collectibles, the best place to buy any trading card game product online. Visit atlastcg.com and at the checkout screen, make sure to use code TSS12 to save an unbeatable 12%
off your entire order. Atlas Collectibles will ship your product anywhere in the world, so make sure you're taking advantage of the 12% savings with TSS 12. And if Pokemon is not your thing, don't worry. Go to atlastcg.com and see all the other amazing trading card game products they have there to offer. The Shuffle Squad has partnered with PTCGO Store to provide our community with the best access to Pokemon TCG codes. They have codes available 24-7, instant email delivery, and you can save 5% off by using code TSS5. If you're a YouTube member or Patreon supporter, you'll have access to a special code that gets you 10% off. So what are you waiting for? Use code TSS5 today and save 5% on your next order of codes on any codes available at ptcgostore.com. Poke X Word, the best place to get your fill of Pokemon inspired puzzles. New puzzles are posted every day and they recently launched a new Guess That Pokemon puzzle, which is a ton of fun to play. Go check them out at pokexword.com and be sure to follow them on Twitter for your chance to win a ton of PTCGO codes every month. Check out the Late Night Series Season 6, brought to you by myself, Zach Lesage, and the Shovel Squad. We're going to be running a bunch of sick events for the Pokemon community, and they start on August 30th. So one thing you might be noticing here is that there's an EU time and an NA time. We have one at 12 p.m. Eastern, which works out to about 5 p.m. in London. And then we have one at 7 p.m. Eastern, which should help out a lot of players on the West Coast play in this event. That being said, we still have a lot of cool things going on. Expect similar prizing that we've had for other late night series events. Expect better staffing, Except, expect better tournament experiences. And of course, we do have a stream going up for this season as well, and I will be streaming the event on Twitch. That being said, we have the whole season up on the Play Limitless website. Late Night 51 all the way through 70 runs until we hit the, reg the Invitational on November 5th. So check that out, sign up today, and support Zach Lesage Events and the Shuffle Squad. See you there.